this perfect launch. Booyah! So you don't have to hit your wake if you carry it into more of a spiral out. So, if you climb straight up, you're probably going to go through it. And at the worst point, because you just unloaded the glider when you dove straight up. So if you exit and continue spiraling, it won't be so violent. Also, when you're in a spiral, you have more G-forces, so your wing's more heavily loaded, so it'll be less susceptible. That's why you saw me dive in wingtip and then continue to spiral out. Bingo! So that was wrong. He came in high and kind of pushed it, so his body was going down when the wing touched, which not ideal. <laughs> when you got skills, you can kind of fudge a little, but you get a real good feel for how much you're fudging. That's how I fell on my launch. And you can exit amazingly fast if you know you have a problem. You tap outside brake and both brakes, boof, and shoot right out of it. So you can really come out fast if you see you're gonna miss, if you reflex. Bam! Dicey, hard right. Dude, Trevor is good. Yeah, he's been flying a lot. Yeah. He's about as good as I am now. The difference is vast experience. Like if I asked him to do something and showed him how to do something, he could do it. <laughs> he just doesn't know he can do it. Get in there, baby. Man, you guys have such a huge advantage. You didn't have to fly all that crap and figure it out the hard way. You just get it handed to you on a silver platter. Here you go. Bingo. Nice. That's as high as you can get. And that 200R is like the perfect unit because now you got way less torque. And more power. Yep. More margin of error. Dude, that thing just so nice. Yeah, Booyah! 